Hello everybody, welcome back to another video in radiology. Today we're going to be exploring another type of fracture similar to how we did in the series. I'm also going to look at different types of syndromes and disorders and maybe even some like bone issues in future episodes if you guys want to see that. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe button. But yeah, let's drive into fractures first. I'm always going to have this review up here just in case. Um, if you want to take a second to review, go ahead. If you want a deeper explanation, please go back to my uh, earlier videos and it should be there. Now, I don't want to give away the type of fracture yet. I want you guys to kind of analyze it. And even if you don't recognize the name, you may not think of anything, kind of, I want you guys to kind of describe it in your own terms. And maybe you could kind of figure out like a certain name that's pretty close to what it's called. So yeah, I'll just give you guys like five seconds. If you need some more time, go ahead and pause. All right, that was five seconds. Uh, go ahead and pause if you don't want to know the answer yet. But this is essentially called a spiral fracture. So these types of fractures, which I'll show you on the next slide, it works when like different sides of the bone or like the muscle kind of get pulled because of tension and all that. And essentially what happens is, and it's very common in like a workout, in uh, sports, in just day-to-day -day activities, in falling, car accidents, so this very frequently happens. And it's because there's two different forces pulling the bone, essentially, from two different directions. And this results in not just being a normal fracture, but a kind of twisted fracture. So what happens is the bone itself kind of twists because different ends are kind of pulling it apart in a sense. Now, I'll give you guys a little bit more explanation on the next slide. But it is a very serious issue in that matter because it's really hard to get these uneven surfaces back together. If you kind of look at the structure of the fracture of the bone, you can kind of see these sharp edges and everything. And it's simply not that easy. Now, it might look like one of the uh, commuted fractures, but please remember that commuted happens when there is a large number of small bones and they kind of uh, break apart. So this is the spiral fracture I was talking about. So it's two different like tension and torsion forces that kind of pull on this bone and the surrounding muscle. And it kind of depends. Like you could um, overstep your ankle in a basketball game, cause you like your calves or like your tibia. Tibia is a very common bone that kind of deals with this. And essentially these different forces kind of pulled apart and they fractured the bone. But what happens is the bone kind of twists in that process because of the extensive torsion and the pressure and the stress applied on the body and the bones. And that kind of makes it a lot worse than a normal fracture with these like uneven split ends, as I mentioned. So yeah, it is uh, pretty serious. Um, it obviously is going to require surgery, uh, possibly even specialized surgery. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.